Four giant craters that have appeared in gas-rich northern Siberia. In the vast, frozen expanse of Siberia, massive craters continue to appear, leaving scientists puzzled and raising questions. One of the most shocking discoveries came in August 2020, when a television crew spotted a massive crater, 98 feet deep and 66 feet wide, hidden in the Siberian tundra. Talking about these craters and I didn't have access fully to the news, I just didn't believe it. I got back to the States and I read a little more and I thought, wow, this is actually a thing that happened. What causes these craters to form with such power and precision? Some scientists point to methane gas building up beneath the permafrost, but the exact reason remains a mystery. This video is about the strange world of Siberian craters, exploring their risks and uncovering the secrets hidden beneath the frozen ground. Keep watching to learn more. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. It's a bit strange that enormous craters keep appearing across Siberia, baffling scientists and sparking curiosity worldwide. One of the most striking discoveries occurred in August 2020, when a Russian television crew flying over the Siberian tundra spotted a colossal crater, 98 feet deep and 66 feet wide. What makes these craters fascinating is not just their immense size, but also their symmetry and the powerful forces behind their formation. These craters, however, don't pop up in plain sight. Most are hidden in the Arctic's remote, untouched regions, where human presence is rare. Typically, they're found by accident, during helicopter flights or by reindeer herders and hunters traversing the tundra. While the exact number remains unknown, scientists have identified some intriguing patterns. Many craters start as mounds rising 6 to 20 feet tall before eventually bursting in powerful explosions. Their cylindrical bottoms and funnel-like openings suggest a unique process at work. These eruptions are believed to be triggered by a buildup of gas beneath the surface, often influenced by unusually hot summers like those in 2012, 2016 and 2020. Researchers estimate that the entire cycle, from mound formation to explosion, takes just three to five years. However, the phenomenon isn't entirely new. Local communities tell stories of similar events passed down through generations, suggesting these craters predate modern climate change. To date, scientists have confirmed 15 such craters, including Hole 17, which may be the largest discovered. While these explosions typically occur far from populated areas, they can pose risks. In 2017, a reindeer herder narrowly escaped an explosion on the Yamal Peninsula, witnessing the hill erupt moments after fleeing. The mystery behind these craters remains unsolved, keeping researchers captivated by their secrets. Massive explosions in Siberia pose risks beyond human safety. They also threaten vital oil and gas infrastructure. Some craters have appeared alarmingly close to railroads and pipelines, yet only a few scientists have dared to study these formations. Scientists have now launched an investigation into a giant crater that suddenly appeared in a remote part of Siberia. In 2017, Evgeny Chuvelin and his team from the Skoltek Center for Hydrocarbon Recovery descended into the Eruda Crater, discovered by biologists observing falcon nests. Using climbing gear, they collected permafrost samples, marking a rare hands-on investigation. Months later, researchers used drones to study the area further. These craters, which form in a geological blink of an eye, quickly transform into lakes within two years, limiting the window for exploration. The exact causes of these formations remain uncertain. Early theories included meteorite impacts or even UFOs, but today methane gas is the leading explanation. Methane, a potent greenhouse gas, accumulates beneath permafrost layers, often in salty, unfrozen zones known as cryopads. As rising temperatures destabilize the permafrost, pressure builds, eventually causing explosive eruptions that hurl ice, soil, and rock into the air, leaving behind gaping craters. One alternative theory emerged from samples collected at the Yamal Crater. Researchers proposed that a dried lake with an underlake talic 
unfrozen soil beneath the lake bed froze over time, creating tension that culminated in an explosion, like a natural ice volcano. These craters, unique to Siberia, form under specific conditions. Flat underground ice, methane-rich permafrost, and salt-laden soil. Despite similar Arctic conditions, no comparable craters have been found in Alaska or Canada, with all known examples isolated to Siberia's Yamal and Gidan peninsulas. Intriguingly, one crater continues to grow, challenging existing theories and driving further scientific investigation. The Bade Crater, also known as Badaga, is far from what its name suggests. It's not a true crater or a portal to another world, but rather a massive, slow-moving land collapse. Scientists refer to it as a retrogressive thaw slump, which happens when melting permafrost causes the ground to shift and sink. Essentially, it's a landslide that moves so gradually that it's almost impossible to notice in real time. Spanning over 214 acres, the Bade Crater is the largest slum of its kind and keeps expanding. Located in the Vilyui region of Yakutia, Russia, it's named after the nearby Bade River. The crater's depth reaches 328 feet, and its vast size makes it visible even from space, where its shape resembles that of a giant tadpole. Unlike the meteor crater in Arizona, which was created by an asteroid impact, Bade formed naturally, with no external forces involved. The first signs of this strange phenomenon appeared in satellite images from the 1960s, showing a small, almost imperceptible strip. In just a few decades, this hole tripled in size, expanding rapidly. From 1991 to 2018, the crater grew at an average rate of 36 feet per year, sometimes accelerating to 98 feet annually. Over time, the slump has lost millions of cubic feet of material, including underground ice and soil, and it's not stopping anytime soon. Experts believe that human activity, such as deforestation and heavy vehicles moving across the fragile tundra, might be to blame for triggering the rapid growth of the slump. These disturbances have removed the vegetation that once protected the permafrost, allowing the sun and wind to erode the ground and expose the frozen layers underneath. As the permafrost thaws, the land continues to shift, and the Bidet Crater keeps expanding. When permafrost begins to melt, like in the case of Batagaika, the solid ground softens and turns into mud. What was once a firm surface starts to collapse, flowing into nearby streams and rivers, along with the melting ice. It's a fascinating, yet potentially dangerous process. Batagaika, though located far from human settlements, still raises concerns among locals. People are cautious, avoiding the cliffs surrounding the crater, fearing that the ground could suddenly give way. While the expansion of the crater is gradual, and it's unlikely to reach inhabited areas anytime soon, the risk of it widening unexpectedly keeps people on edge. The growing size of Batagaika serves as a warning. As temperatures rise and human activities increase, more massive craters like this one may form. These craters could come too close to populated areas, roads, and infrastructure, creating significant threats to transportation and safety. This issue isn't unique to Batagaika. In Whitehorse, Yukon, another expanding crater is dangerously close to the Klondike Highway. Yukon Highways and Public Works says the South Klondike Highway, that's the road that leads to Skagway, remains closed. To prevent future disasters, the Yukon government has decided to move part of the Alaska Highway further northwest. The crater has already begun to affect the road, and continuing delays could lead to accidents. What started as a 165-foot wide slump just a few years ago has grown to double that size, and is now just 82 feet away from the highway. Nearby, a smaller teenage slump is rapidly growing, posing an even greater risk. While these craters bring serious concerns, they also excite scientists. The rapid ground shifts uncover ancient fossils, including well-preserved remains of mammoths, musk oxen, horses, and even entire tree stumps. Batagaika, in particular, is a goldmine for researchers, revealing some of the oldest permafrost on Earth, dating back 650,000 years. 
One of the most remarkable discoveries was a 42,000-year-old foal, perfectly preserved with skin, fur, hooves, and even liquid blood. This was the second time liquid blood had been found in an Ice Age animal, the first being a mammoth found 10,000 years younger. Through study, scientists determined the foal belonged to the extinct Lena horse, a species that once roamed Siberia, Mongolia, and parts of China and Korea. These horses vanished around 3000 BC, around the same time the pyramids were being built in Egypt, marking a truly ancient chapter in Earth's history. A young foal, just two weeks old, tragically lost its life when it drowned in mud. Remarkably, the cold permafrost preserved its remains so well that even the tiniest details, like the skin, fur, and urine still in its bladder, were perfectly intact. While such details might sound unsettling, they were a dream come true for paleontologists eager to learn more about the past. The discovery took place in Batagaika Crater, a region constantly revealing new finds. Often called the Gateway to Hell because of its dramatic appearance, Batagaika is a massive area where permafrost is slowly thawing, causing the land to slump. These slumps can keep growing for decades, only stopping when they hit natural barriers such as rock or water. In Batagaika, the lower parts have already reached solid bedrock, but the upper layers are still moving and could eventually swallow the entire valley, likely within the next few decades. This process is driven by rising temperatures, which melt more permafrost, releasing greenhouse gases and fueling even more warming, a dangerous cycle. Fighting climate change is crucial to preventing these destructive events. Filling in the slumps with soil and machinery isn't a viable solution, as it would be too difficult and harmful to the environment. Without tackling the root cause, climate change, the problem will persist. Batagaika is just one example of a growing issue. Similar slumps are appearing across the Arctic, especially in northern Russia, Canada, and Alaska. In the past 30 years, the number of active slumps has skyrocketed. On Banks Island alone, there were 60 slumps in 1983. Now, that number has jumped to 4,000. This issue is a global one, tied to the urgent challenge of our warming planet. As permafrost thaws, ancient pathogens locked inside, it may be released. These old microbes could threaten modern ecosystems and even pose health risks to humans. While researchers are studying these threats using computer models to avoid direct contact with these microbes, the risks are real. A potential accidental release of a harmful pathogen could lead to a new pandemic, something no one wants. A recent example of the dangers came in 2016, when an anthrax outbreak in Russia spread after unusually high temperatures thawed the permafrost and exposed infected reindeer remains. So if you're near thawing permafrost zones, it's wise to stay cautious. In 2020, researchers found that reintroducing horses in parts of Siberia has a surprising environmental benefit. It helps the soil trap more carbon. This is important because carbon storage slows down the melting of ice, which helps combat global warming. Although the study is still in the early stages, the data suggests promising results. So how does it work? Siberian winters are extremely cold, and the snow cover acts like a blanket, keeping the soil underneath at a freezing temperature. But when summer arrives and temperatures rise, the heat can penetrate the soil, triggering the release of carbon. Here's where horses and other hoofed animals come in. Their hooves break the snow layer, allowing more cold air to reach the soil and prevent it from thawing completely. This deeper freeze helps preserve the carbon trapped in the ground. Could this method help slow down the expansion of craters in Siberia? While it sounds promising, it's not likely to be practical. And there are risks involved, especially for the animals. Thanks for watching. 